Hey, Steve here with Clank, your connection to a completed project. Today we're looking at how to operate this Bobcat MT100 mini skid steer. All right, super simple machine to operate. There's not a whole, whole lot to it. Uh, so whether you've ridden one of these before or not, it doesn't take a whole lot of experience to get uh, really good at it. So this on your right is gonna be your bucket. So when you pull back, um, that's gonna lift the bucket up. Forward is gonna lift the bucket down. If you need to tilt the bucket one way or the other, if you go to the right, that's gonna tilt the bucket down and vice versa. If you need to go up, you tilt it to the left. This joystick on the left is gonna be your forward back. Um, so if backwards, obviously you're gonna pull it back, forward, forward. If you need to turn, you're just gonna go forward and then to whatever direction, whether you need to go left or right, and then same thing on the backwards side. Um, this uh, right here is your parking uh, mechanism. So right now when it's in this position, it is in the drive position. So the tracks are not locked. You can drive, go uh, and operate the machine. If you wanna park, say you're hauling the machine, you don't want it to roll on you, you're gonna push this forward uh, and then pull it back all the way. That'll lock the brakes or lock the tracks. And then sometimes when you go to uh, put it back in the drive position, you'll find that the tracks lock. Uh, one might just be stuck. So if you just kind of take your drive uh, uh, toggle and go forward and backward a little bit, you'll find that that'll unlock that, uh, that track that's not operating. Throttle, uh, obviously uh, forward is gonna be higher throttle. And then when it comes to starting it, really simple. I usually throttle down. There you go. And that's really everything you need to know about this MT100 Bobcat mini skid.